of the Cinetech TV. This is the 49 inch. It's not a smart TV, but it is a really good quality TV for a reasonable price. So yeah, we're just gonna be doing an unboxing of this TV and see everything that it comes with, as well as the TV itself. First off, I just wanna apologize for the lack of uploads lately. Exams were hectic, but I'm back now and I'm really excited to be starting filming again and uploading regularly. Okay, so now we're going to open up the box and see everything that is inside and everything that comes with the TV itself. Okay, so now let's open it up. Let's see what is inside. There are these staples at the sides just to keep everything intact. So just be careful when opening this so that doesn't hurt you. Okay, so first thing we have is this big piece of foam. That's the first thing you see when you open this up. You can see you have this big piece of foam. And in here you have these stands that you can put on the TV so it can stand up on a counter or something. So you have this, so well, that's always really helpful to have a stand. Okay, so now let's take out this big piece of foam. And we just toss this. Now you can basically see the TV in here and you have still two pieces of foam here at the side and you have this little bag inside with a bunch of things that you will need to set up your TV. So first let's just take out these pieces of foam. That's out of the way. Now let's just take this, which has everything you need for your TV. So let's just open this up, see what's inside, and then we can get to the actual TV itself. The first thing I've seen here is a user manual and some other things it's like installation manuals, things like that that you need if you want to know how to set up your TV. We then also have a bunch of cables, so this is your power cable. You have another piece of paper with things on it, this is the warranty card. You have another few cables and parts that you will need to set up your TV. And lastly, you have the remote and the batteries that come with it. So that's always really helpful when they give batteries with their remote. So yeah, this is the remote um, with its batteries and everything inside. Just want to open this up and see how it looks like. Okay, so it's a basic standard remote. It's not too cheap feeling and also not too high quality. It's right in the middle, middle range, just like the TV. So yeah, it's a nice remote. And like I said, the batteries. Okay, so my sister is here to help me. Hi. So we're just gonna get the TV out of the box just because it's huge and I'm not gonna be able to do this on my own. So let's just get this out. Okay, so now it's out of its box and now we're just gonna take off this part of it. It's basically just a bag for taking it in the box. You take this off, peel off all the stickers and things that are on here and then we're gonna see how it works. And we have the TV now, so this is what it looks like. Um, the bezels are not big, which is always really nice. TVs with big bezels are not cute. So we have the TV here. Now there are plastic around it, so we're just gonna peel that off and see the TV in all its glory. Now we just peel off this sticker that you won't want to see. And that we have the TV. So this is what it looks like. Um, I'm going to show you guys a shot of the ports at the moment. So let's just see all the ports that are on here and everything that you can use this TV for. Okay, so for the ports we have a bunch of them. Um, some of these ports I'm not really familiar with, other I am. So. We have this part that I really don't know. We have a USB, we have HDMI 2 and 3, we have the PC in, PC audio in, um, air cables, AV in, we have a headset that you can put in, you have another USB and another HDMI, and then another port that I'm not familiar with that has this thing coming out of it. So yes, that is all the ports that are on here and everything that you can plug in. They have a wide variety so I don't think you're gonna go wrong with anything here.
So this is the TV when it's on. I just played you a little clip of my sister's wedding and you could hear the sound quality of this thing is amazing. The image quality is also great. It's not too much of one color or too contrasty or anything. It is so good and the quality is really amazing. Sound quality, image quality, everything. We also put it stand on and I love the look of the stand. They're very minimalistic. It's not too big and bulky. It just takes up minimal amount of space and it's just an amazing TV and the display again is amazing. So one thing that is really great that Cinetech offers is their five year warranty which is really amazing so you have a lot of warranty on this thing and you can have it for a long time and not being worried about if it breaks. This goes for about 5,500 to about 5,900 around there. If it is on promotion, it will go for about 5,000 Rand. Um, you can work that out in your currency or do your research. But yeah, that's what it goes for here in South Africa. It is really amazing. The pricing of it is not too much to ask for the quality of this TV. And especially since it's the holiday season now, you might get it for a really good deal. And I would really recommend getting you yourself this TV. So yeah, that was my unboxing of the Cinetech TV. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it interesting. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below letting me know what your suggestions are for good TVs and what do you think about this one. And definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen. Click on the playlist to see all of my other tech-related videos and click on the video to my previously uploaded video. Love you guys so much. Be weird and be proud of it. Bye.